All right, I don't think I've recorded anything in like a day or two because Alan wouldn't let me. What do you mean? <laughs> no, no, that's not true. But he is watching Keemstar, though. Wow. <laughs> Exposed. I'm watching Steve. He is home as of earlier today, and now he's playing a pretty good time on where Fnaf. he left off in Cuphead. Uh, Shut up, Steve. It's still playing. It's still playing sound. All right. So we're in a, a motel, Super 8 motel. This is where I'm staying until I leave on Friday. Um, what did we do today? We didn't do much today. We, we woke up, we laid around, we went to see a movie because it was 104 degrees out or something like that today and we needed to kill time and stay out of the heat. Went and saw Blade Runner 2049. It was very good. And uh, I didn't record much yesterday because we pretty much didn't do much yesterday either. We just uh, pretty much hung out, went and tried in and out, dropped Steve off at the airport. And we've just been pretty much resting. It's felt really weird without uh, a chock full schedule every day like over the weekend was. But uh, hasn't been too bad. And we also kind of went swimming yesterday for a little bit. I might meet up with Stevie later on in the week. I might also meet up with Kiefer's later on in the week. Um, but probably won't be doing too much more before the trip comes to an end. I've got, what's today, Tuesday? So I've got two full days left. And then I'll be heading back the day after that. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. I guess it's still morning, I think. It's Wednesday morning. Still in the motel in Long Beach. I am still here for two more days. I should be leaving pretty much two days from right now. Uh, Alan just took off and uh, so now I am on my own for the time being. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do today. Uh, but big thank you to Alan for, uh, for hanging out with us over the weekend and driving us around to and from the event every day and stuff like that. It was very helpful. Helped me save money on Ubers and stuff. Helped us all. So thank you Alan. It was awesome hanging out with you. And uh, now i got to figure out what I'm going to do for the next however many hours and um, where I'm going to go, what I'm going to eat. Because, again, trying to save money, uh, the whole trip in general has been very expensive. Um, I might get to see uh, a viewer of mine today if he's around. And I might get to hang out with my mod Stevie tomorrow after work. Looks like I won't be getting the tour of ESL Studios anymore, unfortunately. They're too busy setting up for BlizzCon. But I might still get to hang out with Stevie. And also tomorrow, uh, the Grotesque Guardians Gargoyle Boss update comes into RuneScape, and I'd love to be able to play it. Um, and I might be able to stream it tomorrow evening from Stevie's place, if, uh, if that works out. And then I might stay over with him, and then he could take me to the airport the next day. So that would be pretty sweet. I wouldn't be using one of the days that I paid for here, but, I mean, whatever. It's just a place to stay, really. Um, also, I've got some cool stories from over the weekend, you know, just the, the parties and stuff that happened. So uh, I think I will throw in the stories like toward the end of the vlog or the vlogs. I don't know how I'm, like, how I'm splitting this up. I'm guessing it's going to be more than one video because I probably have a shitload of footage. Stick around to the end of the vlog series from California uh, for some stories, I guess. I don't know if I remember to show this, but this is what I got at the uh, Twitch merch store at the event. It's extremely difficult to tell in this fucking hotel lighting but this is actually blue <laughs> it looks like it's fucking dark gray it's a, a blue zip up twitch hoodie it's a switch on it and uh they didn't have any purple ones i think the purple ones are like more exclusive or maybe they're online only but got a nice blue one blue is my favorite color so this works for me it does not look blue at all on this camera holy shit but yeah that's what i got from the merch store Excited to wear that when I get back home to the land of the cold. Appar apparently, you can get free DVDs at the front desk to watch. What year is it? Not to mention there's nowhere to put it. You can't watch DVDs on this TV. Not, not with that. Okay, I've figured out my plan. I'm going to take a shower. And then I've discovered that there is a Starbucks nearby, so I'm probably going to walk to the Starbucks. You know, save money wherever I can. Like I said, 
don't have to take an Uber, it's very close by. And there's also a Pizza Hut nearby, so I think I'll probably just grab some Pizza Hut for for lunch. And then I might be meeting up with a viewer of mine, his username is Ivan News, uh, that I met up with, or uh, that I, I talked to uh, over the weekend twice, actually, at uh, TwitchCon. Nice guy, he said he might be around this evening after he's done with work, so maybe I'll meet up with him this evening, I'm not sure what we do. Maybe just go grab dinner or some drinks or something, but for the time being, I think I'm just gonna... The lighting in here really is terrible. Um, for the time being, I think I'm just gonna get some coffee and something to eat and kind of lay low today. Maybe I'll even make some gains on RuneScape, who knows. So Alan left this morning, but he was kind enough to leave me with a classic Pacific snack item. Flaming Hot Crunchy Cheetos. You don't you don't see any of these up north because everything up there is not hot. It's cold. So uh, I haven't heard back from Alfie. I also reached out to Witwix yesterday. Haven't heard back from him. No surprise there. Um, he's a massive streamer, and he's got probably got better things to do than hang out with just one one of his viewers at a time. Um, I mean, I got I got a nice longish talk at the meet and greet considering there are people waiting in line behind me so that's all good also he's doing he's doing like a charity event I think so clearly a selfish asshole doing a charity event on somebody else's channel instead of hanging out with me how dare he but uh... with no no hearing back from Alfie, no hearing back from Witwix I think basically I'm just chilling until the evening when I might meet up with my friend Ivan Ooze, uh... and he said we could go to a bar if he makes it down back back to the Long Beach area so um... Michael makes some gains. Discord. Farm run. Soup. All right, I'm just chilling in the motel. Whipped out my notebook because I I kind of want to brainstorm things that I could do to kind of jumpstart my my stream. So we're gonna jot down some some stream growth ideas here. All right, I've got some other ideas jotted down. I think, I think I'm not gonna go with tits. I think it was, it was a good, good first thought, but it's overdone. Got to get, get some other ideas in here. Also, I'm gonna blur out all these ideas. I don't want you guys seeing these yet, because I'm not ready to announce things I'm thinking about doing until I decide to do them. So, enjoy this fucking blurry ass shot here. Hey, look, it's me and you. Hey, guys. Oh, that's a nice freeze frame of me. But it looks awful. Trying now IRL streaming from my phone for the very first time. I say it's going alright. Alright, that was actually a lot of fun. Just finished up that IRL stream. I was live for almost an hour and a half, although I was using data, so I called it um, a little bit earlier than I would have wanted to. The stream was actually going really well. Good number of people turned out for it, even though I've been gone for like a week and it was IRL with just the webcam really. Um, but it was good. Obviously now hosting Steve. It was really fun, actually, to do that stream. I'd never done an IRL stream before, never done one from my phone before. I was using the new Streamlabs app. It worked pretty well, and uh, I even <laughs> grabbed a paper plate and uh, wrote, like, the recent sub, top D, recent cheer shit. That's kind of a joke. I did actually get a couple people donating stuff, so I wrote their name, and I had to write it all backwards because the camera, of course, was mirrored on the front camera, so it actually came across properly. This is the first draft. I wrote it normal, but it was, like, backwards for them. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Now I have ordered some Papa John's pizza, and that should be here in about half an hour. Hell yeah. Dude, good stream. Pizza on the way, and South Park is on TV. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that's a nice freeze frame. All right, so it is Thursday, my last full day in California. I leave tomorrow. Um, I just finished my leftover pizza for lunch. I also hopped on to RuneScape for a little while. Killed gargoyles because the gargoyle boss update did just come out today, and you have to kill the normal ones in order to get a key to unlock that. Uh, did, nobody heard that, right? <laughs> in order to unlock access to the roof. Um, it's a one-time unlock. I actually managed to get the key. It took me quite a while, but I, I did unlock that, and then uh, in probably a couple hours I'm leaving to go hang out with Stevie at his apartment. I'm probably going to do a stream from his computer setup and actually try the boss itself. And uh, I'm staying over with Stevie tonight and then he'll, he'll take me to the 
airport in the morning, so I'm not staying at the motel for one of the nights that I paid for, but at least I'll have way more fun this way. Alright, it is time to depart. I'm going to go uh, check out and call an Uber. It is going to be about a one hour drive to Stevie's place, so hooray, I can't wait to go sit in a car with a stranger for an hour. It's going to be, it's going to be lots of fun. What do you mean you're a vlogger? You're the str you're streaming. I'm vlogging. What? I thought I was vlogging right now. You're streaming. I'm I vlogging. You were streaming. I'm vlogging. No, I I'm gave you the phone. I'm streaming. You're vlogging. Yes. Oh, let's trade. Okay, we're gonna trade. Okay. okay. Right, here you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a vlogger. Who do I think I am? I'm just a vlogger, I bro. I wanted to get a clip of me streaming from Stevie's apartment for my vlog. Hey, my vlog. Nice to see me. You. Nice to them. see me, and you too. It's that vlog life, you wouldn't know <laughs> oh, this. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm back in my in my natural habitat. I made it back to the apartment. I think I was traveling for about 13 hours today, so I'm pretty tired. I will fill you in on, I guess, the highlights of the trip and tell you some cool stuff that happened uh, while I was in LA and also some cool things that are going to be happening in the future. Uh, updates to Twitch that they announced and things like that. So yeah, I will talk to you after I've slept. Alright, so I'm back home now. I slept, I think, for about 10 hours last night. So that was pretty good. Um, still feel tired, of course. And uh, I'm still like half expecting to get sick at some point this week. Um, you know, usually if you... Go to a convention and shake a bunch of hands and hug a bunch of people, you're going to get sick at some point. I haven't gotten sick yet. I spent an additional entire, like, five days in California after the event. I didn't get sick then either. Uh, that whole week I felt fine. So I'm thinking maybe I'm out of the woods. I had those extra days. I, I didn't get sick. It's still possible, but I think it's unlikely at this point. So maybe I, I dodged the, uh, the, not the rune flu, that's just for rune fest, but the, the con crud, as it were. For this time around but anyway I uh, I still do want to check in with you guys and talk about exciting upcoming things for twitch and for uh, my twitch channel and also tell you some stories from twitchcon and the parties but I don't really have time for that right now I gotta go and uh, run some errands I'm kind of just taking this afternoon to you know, settle back in and recuperate some more I gotta unpack all my shit and stuff like that, and then I'll, I'll try to, I think I'll try to stream this evening, if I'm feeling up for it. But yeah, I'm home now in my beautiful kitchen, di dining, ki kitchen room. Don't really have a dining room, it's all kind of connected. We're gonna go ahead and open this beautiful Twitch hoodie, because I haven't taken it out of the wrapping yet. Twitch right on the front there. It's a nice shade of blue. It's a zip up Twitch hoodie. Um, I I'm not a small person, so I I was debating between getting large and extra large, and uh, because it's like a, a light hoodie, um, because it's like the zip up kind and it's a light hoodie, I didn't really want to get large in case it was a bit too small because there's nothing you can do about it. Um, I mean a lot of hoodies are baggy by design. This like the light zip up hoodie I feel like tends to be a little bit slimmer by design so I got the extra large just in case. But uh, oh sweet and it's got the uh, it's got the little the glitch the, uh, the twitch logo on the back that's cool. So yeah when it's uh, when it's cold up here I'll be wearing this quite a bit this winter I'm assuming. 
We are back in the, wait, wait for it, studio. I'm about to turn my computer on for the first time in like nine days. Oh good, it still works. That's cool. And uh, I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. Probably, uh, you know, log into RuneScape, rip a bunch of footage off this camera and put it on my computer, see what we're looking at here, and then uh, try to stream later on. Hello, so I am here right now to tell you the stories from TwitchCon that I promised during the course of this vlog. However, it is March 8th right now. Um, I didn't get around to editing the rest of the vlog footage or putting up any more vlogs uh, until now because for a while I kind of became a little apathetic about it after putting up what I considered to be the the two best vlogs that were likely to come out of the, the footage I took. And um, weirdly enough, I didn't want to have to record this clip right here. Like every time I would go edit, I've had the I've had this video edited for like two, maybe three weeks, probably closer to two. Um, but every time I was like, oh, yeah, but before I could publish it, I have to record this little segment at the end. I was just like, I can't do that right now. I got other shit to do. So finally, here is this video. I hope you've been enjoying it. And uh, I will try to recant what I can remember of the stories from TwitchCon. All right, so stories from TwitchCon. I'm first going to talk about the people I met, and then I'm going to tell some actual like stories of things that happened. So people I met. I met a shitload of streamers, obviously. It's TwitchCon. And uh, there were, I think, four people that really stood out to me. Um, and the first one I'll, I'll talk about is Anil. Anil is a Twitch staff member, and... I was hanging outside the Capacabana bar, and he was coming over to talk to Fo or Paul and the other like big RS partners because I think Anil is the person who partnered at least Paul, maybe some others, and he was just come over, coming over to say hi. And of course, I had never met him before. I had never been to TwitchCon before, and I'm not partnered. Um, but he came over, and he was saying hi to everybody, and I was in the circle talking to them, so he said hi to me, and I shook his hand. And then uh, maybe I shook his hand. Actually, I don't know if I shook his hand, but um, the picture I have of him with him is him giving me a big old hug. He's like a giant teddy bear. And he was just like one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Anil's awesome. So there was Anil. Witwix was, is my favorite streamer. Of course, I stood in line to meet him. I was like sixth in line or something. Um, talking to him was awesome. I met anything for views or Chad. He is a, an IRL streamer predominantly from Australia, and he has starred in a shitload of videos with uh, Filthy Frank, Max Mofo, and iDubs, which is where I first kind of found out who he was. He's a funny guy, and uh, the way I met him was because he attended a party that I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so, Whitwick's anything for views, Anil. And Andy Milanakis. Andy Milanakis is uh, somebody that I saw during the course of the event outside by the food trucks, but he was already talking to people, so I didn't go up and bother him. I saw him again at the party after the party I just mentioned, but again, we're getting to that. So um, those are the four people that really stand out in my mind. Obviously, I met like 100 more streamers, and I got to hang out with some of my good friends that I've made through Twitch. Um, my real life friend Shannon went on the trip, so she was there. My roommate Steve was there, and we met up with Ben, Dom, Alan, and um, and Rob. I almost shared a couple of uh, hotel rooms, and it was awesome getting to hang out with them. And uh, so the event was awesome. There was just so much stuff to do. The event, I couldn't believe how big it was and how many people there were there. The only event I'd been to before that was RuneFest, and that's for one game, and it was just so much smaller. And it was also only one day, and TwitchCon was three days, which was way better, because you need that much time to see all this stuff. So uh, that was a lot of fun, meeting up with everybody, you know, shaking hands, getting photos. Now let's talk about the parties. So um, I will say that I went to two parties there were no I went I went to three parties there were more parties than I went to of course uh, there were parties every night the first night um, I went to a house party at an Airbnb 
and we did not stay long because we got there kind of late in the evening and everybody was already smashed and we were sober and it just wasn't very much fun. And uh, some of the friends that we went with wanted to go home, so we just left. I mean, it would have been cool if we'd gotten there at the beginning or if I was kind of like closer to the people there or at least the people that I was close to, at least if they weren't as smashed, it would have been a little bit easier to kind of like socialize before the night kind of, you know, took that turn. Um, so that was the first night. The second night was supposed to be the official TwitchCon party on Saturday, which was like this supposed to be this huge thing on a giant ship, like literally a party on a giant ship that was Halloween themed because the event takes place in October. However, we went there and we pre-gamed this too. We fucking pre-gamed this party in the hotel and we went and stood in line for two and a half hours or something fucking ridiculous. There were so many people and the process for getting people through the doors or whatever was just very slow and very poorly done. So the line stretched for literally miles. And we stood in line for hours. And eventually we were like, fuck this. Let's just leave and go get some dinner and then hang out. So we didn't do anything on Saturday night. It was kind of a wash. However, I did uh, meet some other people while standing in that line that I hadn't seen previously uh, through the event. Well, some some yes and some no. I saw Miss Rice Bunny, who is another affiliate streamer that plays RS. So we talked to her for a bit in the line. And then... Um, for the first time that event, somebody that I would not have been able to pick out of a crowd came up to me, uh, one of my one of my viewers from Twitch, uh, whose username is Nurse A U Z. Uh, he came up to me in the line. He was like, "Hey, are you Tripwire?" And that was that just made my night. That was pretty cool. I had actually forgotten he was going to be at the event at all, so it was really nice. Um, so standing in line wasn't all bad, but it was a massive waste of our time, and we were like pretty close to getting in by the time we gave up, but. I had been seeing tweets from people who had been inside already that saying that it just wasn't worth the wait anyway. So we left. Um, but the best night for partying was Sunday. And unfortunately, that party was not open to everybody. So not everybody in our friend group got to go. But Sunday was awesome. Because Sunday was the official old school RuneScape party with a max occupancy of 100 people. Because it took place in the basement uh, room of an old bank vault that could turn into a bar. So it literally got, it literally took place in an old bank vault, like through a giant reinforced bank vault door. It was like a private bar and lounge in the basement. And uh, because of people, how many people I know in the RuneScape community and the JMods that I know, I managed to get a bracelet for that. And I managed to get a second bracelet for my roommate. So Steve and I got to go to that party. And it was the coolest shit ever because um, drinks were free for certain amounts of time, depending on what kind of bracelet you had. And I knew so many people there, They're just like great, great people from the RuneScape community, great streamers, great friends, free drinks. They even had um, samples of the food that the bar upstairs made, just like they had people waiting on us. Like they had people just bringing around trays of samples of this food that was amazing. And it was so cool. And um, that's why I met anything for views. Hung out with, you know, Guns Chili and Lord Kirk and Bodie and Mr. Mammal and fucking everybody. And it was awesome. So, yeah, like I said, drinks were free. Steve and I got pretty drunk. Uh, we were having a good time. They kicked us out at like 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. because uh, it had started so early. So it didn't go all night. And um, this is where the after-after party comes in. After we got booted out... There was this huge group of streamers just like deciding where they wanted to go. And we just kind of started walking in a direction and we just followed them. Ended up going to the fancy hotel across the street from the venue. And we found out there was a party up on the top floor uh, for some, some girl who had rented out their presidential suite and was having a, a private party up there. Would have been sweet to go up there, obviously. Um, but unfortunately, the JMods were like taking only certain groups of people, like the bigger streamers that had, you know, name recognition up to the room. And um, everybody else stayed down in the lobby. So Steve and I were like, well, fuck, that sucks. Although, um, I did meet Tyler One that night, so that was pretty cool. So we went out and sat on a bench. We were deciding what to do for food because we were pretty hungry. We were just sitting on a bench, like, in the little, like, the half-moon drive of the hotel. And uh, kind of on my phone, trying to figure out where the nearest in and out is because we hadn't tried it yet. And uh, Bodhi comes up. From like, okay, I had seen him go up in the elevator. So he walks over and I look up and I was like, oh shit, hey Adam, what are you doing down here? And he's like, I don't know, we're looking for some more people. You guys want to go up? And I was like, yes. <laughs> so um, Adam DMs me the room number on Twitter and I we take the elevator up 
Paul answers the door, and I was like, hey, Bodhi said we could come up. And he's like, show me. So I showed him my phone with the, the message, and he was, so he let us in. So we were up here in the presidential suite on the top floor of a hotel after attending a private party. We're at a second private party, and there's a bunch more streamers there that I know, and it was really cool. Fucking Andy Milanakis, is, that's where I met him, was at that party. That's where I took my picture with him. You know, everybody was there. So we're just, like, looking out the window at the venue across the street. It was, it was fucking badass. So that's basically the stories from TwitchCon that I really wanted to talk about. It was just, like, the people and most of those two parties that happened on Sunday night. That night was awesome. Um, for some reason, Steve and I didn't take an Uber home after the second party. We got kicked out of the uh, hotel party pretty quick, actually, because um, hotel staff got wind of the party, and pe- they, were, they kicked us out because of noise complaints. Understandably so. People were loud, um, but it was sick. But then after we got kicked out, we didn't take an Uber back. Um, we walked like a little bit over a mile back to the hotel. I don't know why we did that. I guess we were trying to save money, but that walk felt like it took forever because we were drunk and it was not fun. But, you know, we stopped on the way and got some pizza from Pizza Hut and ate it very quietly in the hotel room because everybody else was sleeping by that point. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the these videos. Sorry, this one took so long. Hope you enjoyed the stories. It was a really fun time. I can't wait to go. Oops. I can't wait to go to TwitchCon again this year. It was great. Okay. Thank you for watching.